Because what you say, and because you make this person show me how much they care about me, I still eat here today. <laughs> I, guys, I'm honest. Because of this, I still this person today. 16 of July 2022, Nadir Shami dating with Didi. Ta-da! <laughs> dum 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 Now we're gonna rage? Dude, you are getting so desperate to make me jealous and to get views. We all been knew that you were a law this whole time and this just confirms it. Hey, I had to kiss her too, and it was cold and clammy. My turn to put you on your place again? Nah, everyone sees how you are an SA shaming abuser who is probably going to prison, but keep plowing DD. Looks like you are kissing your father here with the John Kotu glee. No one cares. You are evil and gross and smell of smokes. This was your next supply setup the whole time. Now you can freely admit to your lies because you lost me for good and now you realize and can be open and free about your relationship with Grandma Dudu. Congrats guys, shit. Why did I allow this in my life? Ours of the clowns trying to prove that Chantal is the crazy one and they were just friends. Wow. They are the most disgusting people ever. She even admitted to lying to her mother and was sleeping with him so Chantal was right about everything. No wonder why Chantal literally lost her mind. These people are evil. Beware who you allow your time to in life. Hard AF lessons learned. So she admitted that the threesome happened and that she slept with Chantal in the past and that he and Chantal were together. Also, the restraining order was not for Chantal, it was for Nader. He broke it regardless under what circumstances or if he was begged. He broke the restraining order, which is a chargeable criminal offense. Period. Period. Edit. There is no one they wouldn't lie to. The fact that they, Nader and Didi, lie so easily and convincingly shows they are sociopaths. I would like to sincerely thank Agent Jennifer Corvina and Nader El Shemi in all of this. Corvina, your FBI work has been amazing here. And Mr. El Shemi, thank you for screwing over the wrong women. Love that for you. Um, MFG, you guys were right. I didn't think he was smart enough to be an actual calculating scammer, but this theory makes a lot of sense. Sorry. All this is really really closing up and I am seeing reality and it, it is overwhelming but it helps to share these realizations. When May first went to the police, Stabra Cadabra pretended to be Foodie Beauty's boyfriend. So convenient that he is less than three weeks away from the court date and now all of a sudden is Barney Rubble's new boyfriend. But Barney generally thinks it's love. Keep them coming, Jennifer. What Stabra Cadabra did to you and pretty is so low, so make sure you get your vindication.